This is one of the most complicated stories that I've ever covered on this channel. This is the story of Abel Sivanda, a 31-year-old man who worked for a family in Mavele grazing lands as a head boy. On the 12th of October 2011, Abel asked his employer to accompany him to fetch firewood, but because he was unwell, his wife, Virginia Mukanla, a 29-year-old, offered to go with him. They left at around 6 a.m. in the morning in an oxstone cart and went into the forest. At midday, the husband realized that the dog that they had left with had returned, but the two were nowhere to be seen. The husband then asked his neighbor, Mr. Matthew Moyo, to follow the tracks of the scorch cart and check on the two. He finally caught up with the scorch cart, but it was tied to a tree beside the road. He investigated a little bit, and within a few meters, he found a crime scene. He saw Virginia's dead body lying face down in a pool of blood. She had been axed at the back of her head, and Abel was nowhere in sight. He rushed to the village to alert the villagers, and a report was made to the ZRP. Clifford Mule, a game ranger at Wange National Park, found Abel in the reserve and arrested him on suspicion of poaching. He then told them that he was on his way to Cholocho to visit his wife. They advised him to accompany them to the main camp, but he tried to run, so they became suspicious. They apprehended him and took him to the police. The police realized that he was the head boy who was on the run after killing his madame. He was arrested and charged with her murder. The post-mortem was conducted by Dr. Sanganai Pesanai at UBH and concluded that she had been 30 weeks pregnant and she had died from cervical spine fracture due to assault on the neck. When he was interrogated, he claimed that he was chopping wood a few meters away from Virginia and the ex slid from his hand and he hit her on the back of the neck. He said that she had been hit by accident but ran out of fear of being arrested. The court did not believe this version of events and charged him with murder with actual intent. The court believed that he intentionally stuck his madame with an ex. He was sentenced to death but appealed to the high court. The high court faced a tough decision because there was no witness or evidence of struggle at the crime scene. It was impossible to disprove that she had been killed by accident. According to the husband and the villagers, there was no bad blood between Virginia and Abel, so there was no motive. The high court had no option but to set aside murder with actual intent conviction and charge him with the lesser one of culpable homicide. Although it could have been an accident, his negligence had caused the death of an innocent young woman and her unborn baby. He was then sentenced to six years in jail with two suspended on condition of not committing a similar crime. What do you think really happened in that forest? Did he really kill her by mistake or it was intentional? Tell me what you think in the comments. May her soul continue to rest in peace.